that day. We had a few extra hours. I mean, we're from Northeast Illinois, so um, we had a few extra hours of not knowing anything terrible was wrong. I think it was Beth that put it together that John was at the theater, and then she called Nora, and Nora told me, and it was like 7 o'clock that morning, and so what do you do? The first thing you do is you flip on, you know, CNN or one of those, and there's pictures everywhere, and it's like, Oh gosh, so we called the police, we called the coroner, we called everybody we could think. We called the military base, nobody could tell us anything. So they suggested we call hospitals. So we called multiples of us, called every hospital in the area. I asked for supervisor, I used to work in hospitals. So I would, you know, the supervisor explain my story. Please, please, if you have anybody there you haven't identified, tell me. No, no, they assured me that they had identified everybody, so they did not have anybody. So the morning drags on, it gets to be partway through the afternoon, and Scott says, you know, we should start letting somebody else know. So made some of the hardest phone calls, almost the hardest phone calls. The worst ones were after we found out for sure, and say, we don't know what happened. All we know is John was at the theater and now he's missing. And you know, they mentioned the phone calls, the ringing phones in that theater. John was pretty good about leaving his on vibrate, but it went off a bunch of times between us calling his phone and texting and saying, you know, where are you? Call us. The Navy didn't, I, they wouldn't tell me if he was at work or not, if he's supposed to work at 5.30 that morning. Um, Noel finally got somebody to tell him that no, he wasn't there. So we we didn't know until um, I tried so hard to talk Noel out of it. He was supposed to fly home. We were celebrating my grandmother's 100th birthday that weekend. And I told John not to come home for that. I said, come home for Christmas. Um, you know, that, that'll be more important. And Noel was going to fly up from his internship in Dallas for grandma's birthday and he called and he said, I'm gonna change my ticket, I'm gonna to go to Denver. And it's like, oh no, no, don't worry about it. No, they'll find him, he'll be okay, he'll call us. And Noel said no and I'm real glad he did. But he came here, I think it was some of the Navy people that met him coming off the plane and they took him, I guess it was Gateway High School. And he called us about 8.15 our time to tell us that John was dead. <laughs> 